Secret Life gave me their Techno Gel Premium Armrest Tops along with their Lumbar Pillow Pro, both of which are amazing additions to your chair in their own right. These are really freaking amazing, they are part of Secret Lab's Cloud Swap line and are designed to cool you down during intense gaming sessions. Are they worth the money though? Make sure to watch this video to the end and I'll tell you what I think. These are a part of Secret Lab's first Cloud Swap replaceable lineup, which in English basically just means that you can rip these off and juggle them around like a savage, or maybe that's just me. In any case, these are pretty different by feel. The Techno Gel is smoother and the PU is rougher. As I move my finger around, it's like a rough feel while for the techno gel there's a squishy yeah it's hard to oh that looks obscene anyway these are both smoother as well as squishier compared to the standard issue armrests and some of you asked me whether these were more vulnerable to scratches but as you can see from this little scratch test right here the techno gel armrests are actually less vulnerable to scratching compared to the pu foam armrests Ooh, that was that was a casualty these things are also pretty good at retaining their shape, though I wouldn't recommend throwing them around like your boy does right here. Okay, so now let's talk about the cooling effect of these armrests as I'm sure most of you are interested. I've used these armrests over long periods of time and in many different situations and definitely feel that they're cooler than the PU foam armrests. But just telling you that is too subjective and unscientific for me, so I thought it'd be cool to do some science instead. Jokes aside, I bought a thermal camera and decided to use that for the experiments. Which is pretty cool because it gives you a thermal mapping of pretty much everything and it also records temperature so you can actually see how temperature changes when you subject the armrest to different types of treatment. Anyway, I conducted two different experiments and here is the first one. I call it the 5 second heating test and it consists of gripping the armrest for about 5 seconds while waiting for it to hit thermal equilibrium and then measuring the temperature of the armrest throughout the entire duration of time so that I can know the initial temperature, how much it heated up after I put my hand on the armrest and the final temperature that the armrest fell to. Which gives you an indication of how comfortable the armrest will be if you're gaming intensely over a period of time. Okay, let's start. Okay, this is the 5 second heating test with first the techno gel armrest. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Alright, so the armrest heated up by 1.3 Celsius and the temperature continued to change throughout the entire duration of the minute and obviously we're not watching the entire thing. But it settled at 29.8 Celsius which is a 1.4 degree Celsius drop. Alright, let's do this with the PU foam armrest. Now, one more time. One, two, three, four, five. So, yup, hashtag sciencing it up right there. Skipping over the time because we don't want to wait. And boom, a 0 0.6 Celsius drop. Giving us the following results from the 5 second heat test. Anyway, I did another experiment, except this one involving cooling. I don't know that it can be cool unless you put it in the freezer. Let this be a lesson, kids. Be careful what you wish for. So I drew up both of these in a bag, and my mom was probably wondering why the heck I put these armrests in the fridge. But not before I measured the base temperatures of both the armrests, and they were both about the same. Set a one hour timer for these bad boys, and slam the door. Alright, let's take them out. I can't believe I just like put some armrests in the fridge. Pull it out. And then... So just from first impressions, you'll notice the Techno Gel armrest has some water on it, indicating the presence of condensation, while that's not present on the few armrests. And a quick look at the thermal camera reveals exactly what is going on. The Techno Gel armrests, which are on the right, are about 23.5 degrees Celsius, cold enough that they are now lower in temperature compared to the dew point of the surrounding air, hence the condensation on the armrests. While on the other hand, the PU foam armrests are at about 26.1 thereabouts, which is marginally higher than the Techno Gel armrests, indicating that they've cooled at a slower rate. And after about 10 minutes, the PU foam armrest had gone up to 27.7 Celsius, whereas the Technogel armrest had gone to about 26 Celsius. 
Looking at the results of our cooling experiment, the results are similar to those of our heating experiment from earlier. So what can we learn from this? The Technogel armrests will heat up and cool down faster compared to the PU foam armrests, which is what leads to the cooling effect we observe. If you want to get all high school science about it, the Technogel armrests have a lower heat capacity. I am not going to go into the mechanics of heat transfer, nor do I have the ability to, but... In physics terms, this just means that the Technogel armrests require less of an energy change in order to change in temperature. Because this thing cools down faster, this means that it's at a lower average temperature compared to the PU foam armrest most of the time. It's going to help transfer heat away from your body at a much faster rate. Which can help the lower body temperature, reduce sweating, making for greater comfort during those intense gaming sessions. Thing is, if you're in an environment where it's hotter than body temperature, then this will not work out well for you. Then again, if you're in an environment hotter than body temperature, maybe gaming is the least of your concerns. Anyway, overall, should you get the Technogel armrest? Well, if you're looking for something softer, smoother, and cooler than the stock armrest, then I think that they're a great upgrade. Although, if you use the armrest like this, then maybe you won't get as much value from using them. But if you have a Titan EVO 2022 and you're looking to upgrade your experience off the chair, chuck those old armrests aside and try out the new Secret Lab Technogel armrest tops, which are, in my opinion, an incredible addition to the chair. Oh, let me guess, you're wondering, does this work on your Titan 2020? I have great news for you. You can put the armrest on top of your existing armrest. There's no way to actually attach it, I'm sorry, it doesn't work. But if you do want a Titan EVO 2022, do feel free to pick one up from this link, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you like more Secret Lab content and you find value in this work. Lots of thanks to Secret Lab for sending me these review units right here for the review. Thank you so much for working with me all this while, and I look forward to bringing you all new content soon. Okay, bye.